Welcome back to NetTouch Plus, where today we will be talking about GitHub and multiple accounts. So here is the dilemma. You've signed up for GitHub, everything's going great with your personal account, no issues. But now you have, for example, a new client or maybe a company, in my case that would be NetTouch, and you need to be able to pull and push to different GitHub accounts. How would you accomplish that? I'll show you how today. The first step is we need to generate a second SSH key. So I'm going to switch over to the terminal and now I'm going to paste in a snippet. And what this is doing is we are generating a new SSH key and we are attaching our email address to that key. So now if I run it, you'll see it's generated that key pair, but you want to be careful. You cannot overwrite your existing one because of course you still want to push to your personal account. So instead, let's save it to the same directory, but this time we'll add NetTouch. In your case, you'll use your business name or maybe your client's name. I'll hit enter, add a key phrase, and now we can see that has been generated and it's been saved, in my case, to the SSH directory. Let's check that out now. If I list the files, you can see we have my original one and now we have the new NetTouch one. So the next step is to log into your second account Here's my first personal account, but now I want to be able to work with NetTouch. So I'm going to go to account settings, SSH public keys, and we're going to add another public key to my NetTouch account. And we'll call this one MacBook in my case. And now I need to paste in the key that was generated. So I'm going to return here. And now once again, I'm going to view the files and we want to get the key that is stored within IDRSA NetTouch.pub. So I'm going to open that up. And here it is. So I'm going to copy that whole string, return to Google Chrome and paste it in and click add key. Good. So that's step one. The next step is because we saved it as a unique name, we need to tell SSH about it. So I'm going to return to the terminal and I'm going to write SSH dash add. And now we're going to give it a path to that file. And in my case, dot SSH ID RSA net touch. Again, I type in my passphrase. And now you can see identity has been added. Now the bulk of the work has been done for us. We need a way to specify when we want to push, in my case, to my personal account and when I want to push to the NetTouch account. And to do that, I'm going to create a config file. Within my .ssh folder, I'm going to create a new config file and I'm going to open that right now. Within here, I'll paste in a little snippet. And this is how we can specify Credentials. So we're saying when the host is github.com, we're going to state the host name, we're going to state the user ID, and we're going to attach an identity file. Now, this is the default. You could probably get away without using it. But now we're going to duplicate this and do another one. And the difference this time is I'm going to change it from github.com to github dash, in my case, NetTouch. Now, the host name is going to stay the same, the user is the same, the identity file. This time, we'll need to point to that NetTouch key that we created. And that should do it. So I will save and close this out. I'm going to restart iTerm just to make sure everything has taken effect. And now we can experiment. So I'm going to browse to my desktop and I'm going to create a directory called test, cd into it, touch a readme file. And within it, we'll just write hello there. And now we're going to try to push it to my NetTouch, my company account. So let's try Git out now. I'm going to create a new Git repository and I'm going to add everything to the staging area and commit with a message of first commit. And now within my NetTouch account, I'm going to go to the dashboard, click new repository, testing, create repository. And now we need to do a little bit differently here because we do have multiple accounts. So when we would normally just copy and paste that in, this time we'll say git remote add origin git at github dash nettouch because remember that's what we named the host not github.com we named it github dash nettouch within that config file and now we'll continue per usual nettouch slash testing dot git all right so let's try this git push origin master and if we did everything right these files should be pushed not to my personal account but to my nettouch account so i'll click continue and there you are the last step is to make sure we can still push normally to our personal account. So this time I'm going to remove that entire Git repository and now we'll get started again. I'm going to initialize Git. 
I'm gonna add everything to the staging area. So if I check the status, here's our changes. We'll commit those. Testing with personal. If we log, we can see we have that new commit. And now I'm gonna log out and log into my personal account and see if I can push to that as well. New repository, testing. And because we are using our default credentials now, I can simply copy and paste these two lines of code. There we go. Click continue. And it works. So by adding an extra SSH key, attaching it to our new GitHub account, and creating a config file where we can specify whether we want to push or pull to our default account or to a client or company account like NetTuts. All right, that's going to do it for today. If you have any questions or run into any issues, just leave a comment on this article's page and we'll do our best to help you. For more tips, tutorials, screencasts, whatever, always stay subscribed to NetTuts. I'll see you later. Bye.